Israel says its ground offensive in Gaza has expanded into refugee camps. The announcement on the new battle zone comes as Israeli officers and officials signal the war is far from over. All of this is the international pressure grows for a ceasefire. Our Jared Hill has the latest. Israeli airstrikes are moving to central Gaza as the country's military chief predicts the war will continue for months. <laughs> Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu speaking directly to Hamas, saying, we see you and we will get to you. While members of the Israeli military go after Hamas leaders in underground tunnels and militants launch rockets toward Israel, civilians are caught in the crossfire. Over the past two days, more than 240 Palestinians were killed in multiple Israeli airstrikes, according to the health ministry. They also say the death toll has reached nearly 21,000, with two-thirds of the dead being women and children. It's nonstop, 24 hours a day, serious and critical injuries coming in, and a very small staff to help them. Sean Casey with the World Health Organization in Gaza says food beyond rice is also in short supply at one hospital. And Palestinians living in the largest refugee camp in Gaza say they're struggling to find clean water. On the other side of the world in the U.S., Secretary of State Antony Blinken met with Israeli officials about the conflict and freeing the remaining people held hostage by Hamas. Jared Hill, CBS News. President Biden spoke with Qatari officials Tuesday about the release of hostages and the flow of aid. Qatar has been instrumental in brokering the most recent humanitarian pauses in fighting.